All right, I wanted to go through and actually look at all of the spoilery details in um, Shining Force 2 Editor. So I've loaded up the ROM. Um, so let's get the character start data and character stats. And let's see, what else is even needed? Uh, so that's just showing how many stat blocks people have. Uh, that's basically, hey, look, do you have an alternate promotion? If so, you need another stat block. Um, so that doesn't matter for us. Uh, let's go ahead and get out a stat calculator as well, because we can compare with, uh, I minimized Excel by accident. Uh, we can compare with our final stats for Archer Force 2. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I guess we don't really need the start data. We've seen all of the start stuff. So I'm going to open up a couple of characters, not start data, just said that. Couple of sets of character stats. Mm, I should probably embiggen that now that I think about it rather than just making it large, large. So let me shrink things down a bit where we can fit a couple of those. And then I will embiggen in OBS where it's hopefully readable for people who aren't running it at 1440p. So, um, so let's take a look at Bowie. Yeah, I'm gonna need a third one of these. Trust me, I don't need it for Bowie. I just need it for others. So, um, yeah, Bowie just has Katon 1, 2, and 3. Uh, Bowie would have reached Katon 3, or did reach Katon 3 at level 25. Keep in mind, all spells are listed at level plus 20 for promoted characters. So, level 45 spell means promoted level 25, or 26, or 24? Is that 21? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so... Bowie's defense. This is the first thing I need to address. So Bowie missed out on some defense before. So looking at characters at level 20, um, Bowie had 21 defense. I don't, 24. Bowie was at 24 defense. It looks like Bowie would have ended up gaining an extra four defense over the next, oh, um, Whatchamacallit, um, yeah, uh, he would have gained four defense over the next six levels. So let's take a look at expected for level 24. Um, Bowie is one hit point off of expected, MP, one MP off of expected, attack, I don't know what weapon Bowie had equipped at the time, so I'm going to be ignoring attack. Uh, defense 23, so Bowie actually had one extra defense and two fewer agility. Interesting. Average, or the range for level 24, on the other hand, um, Bowie, yeah, kind of in the middle of the range, which is what you would expect. Uh, yeah, so okay, that's fine. Bowie endgame, on the other hand. So Bowie's final level was 24, or, or Bowie's final level is 29. So let's see what a normal level up would be for level 29. Again, ignoring attack because I don't have any of the stats minus weapons. I really wish there was an easy way for me to do that. I would have to load up the save state, basically, and I don't feel like doing that right now. Anyway, um, so uh, Bowie should have... Oh, I see what's going on. So, um, but we did promote at level 24. So we actually do know what his stats were at 24, except for attack. Oh, that's going to be annoying to figure out. Oh, well, I'm just going to go based off of that attack. So we're going to go with 40... 14, 50, 24, 37. And instead of 50, oh, my numlock's on. Instead of 50, we're actually putting in 29. Oh, I need to reload the calculator each time. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, stats 
stat calculator. Let's take a level. No, it's still doing Bowie 1. Cool. Does this change? There we go. Okay. I'm just going to have to use just this window. Got it. So, uh, Bowie ended up with 4 extra MP HP. Again, I've used some items, so that makes sense. Uh, his uh, defense is lower than expected. So, here's the problem. Bowie was set for early plus late defense, which means that his defense was rising early on and then getting zeros for an extended period of time. Uh, this hurt. This was a good chunk of the reason why Bowie was having so many problems is that his defense was late and it wasn't very good to begin with. Uh, keep in mind, I had given Bowie every protect milk in the game, plus he was wearing the protect ring, which that would mean that he actually had 59 defense at the end. And yeah, this hurt. Um... Yeah, it's no wonder that Bowie was having issues. Let's take a look at Sarah. So Sarah was a ninja. Um, Endgame Sarah was only at 18 because I decided not to use her. And let's compare with Luke, who is our other ninja. Luke 2. So um, Luke ended up with MP. We already saw all our ended up with spells, also MP. We already saw it. It's because this is glitched. This should actually be 22. This should be 22. This should be... 35 and so on so but it's actually at hot level 44 to get detox for utter garbage Oops. 23 40 43 55 jeez that would have been high level so for a frame of reference, our final Luke was level 29. So that would be 49 for spells. He would have had bolt three. Yeah, he would have had bolt three and detox four. So he would have only had one extra spell, but this would have never happened. You saw how little XP I was getting from anything other than Xeon and any of the other endgame bosses. Um, there's no way I could have grinded up that far without grinding on Xeon himself. And maybe the Xeon guards. This this is what happens in Shining Force 2. There's like the the four series, so Bolt 4, Freeze 4, and also like Atlas 2, and the high level spells never get seen, which is garbage in my mind. Uh, I'm not going to bother looking at the stat lines for things. All right, let's continue on. I'm just going to open up another character stats window, put it over here. There we go. Now we've got all four. Um, let's continue on. Chester, who is our ranger. We're going to start comparing each of the archers. Uh, Kazin was an archer. I could probably squeeze in another one off to the side now that I'm looking at it. Let me expand this a little bit. Move this over as far as I can. That actually makes it where I can still see what I'm doing. I'm overlapping a little bit so I can fit more of those character stats in because I'm going to need to compare six archers at once, aren't I? So I'm probably going to need to compare more than six archers at once now that I think about it. So hide spell list for all of these. Yeah, that'll fit better. Let's move this back off. Scroll bars bother me, and I was getting a scroll bar from that because this is a VB app. Um, so Luke is an archer, Slade's an archer. Kiwi's not an archer, Peter's not an archer, May's an archer. Who else do we have for archers? Um, I know we have three more. Rick's a priest. Elric's an archer. Character stats. Hide spell list. Um, Eric was an archer. And we had one more archer. Base archer, that is. I'm not looking at the promoted ones yet because we still have to deal with those too. Uh, that was Tyrin. Yeah. 
All right. These are the base archers that we had. Oh, Luke's not an archer. Derp. Uh, what was it? Do we even have other archers beyond these seven? Let's take a look. Um, so I'm going to be looking at brass gunners. Bow knights and snips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, okay. So we only have seven archers. So these are our seven archers. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shrink this over a little bit more. So um, looking at their base stats, uh, it's pretty obvious that Chester has plus one attack and minus one defense compared to Kazin. Um... Yeah, because Zinn's strictly worse than Slade, isn't he? Uh, yep. Because is strictly worse than Slade unpromoted. Take a look. So, Kazin has 41 hit points at level 30. Yeah. So, the only difference is that Kazin had one lower defense starting and one higher agility starting compared to Slade. But their ending stats were just... Ah, uh, Why? Also, Kazin has two different stats that were late, whereas Slade was linear, middle, and early. So no wonder that Slade ended up being so much better than Kazin. Um, May has hit points and attack, which is always nice. Also started with extra hit points and attack. Defense is garbage. And agility is pretty garbage. Um... Eric is identical to May, except with one extra agility and four fewer hit points. Cool. Um, also, May was entirely linear, which is interesting. Uh, Elric. Let's see, I'm kind of comparing Nick in for everything. Elric had hit points. Not worth it. And Tyrin's identical to Kazin in every way. Cool. Completely 100% identical. Same starting stats, same ending stats. Um, the growth is different. So Tyrin would actually show up as being a little bit better early on and basically do nothing later on. Yeah. If I had grabbed an archer from Creed's place, Creed's mansion, um, grabbing Tyrain and immediately promoting would not necessarily have been a terrible idea. Um, what were they like at level 24 anyway? Snip. Bonite. I don't have Rask on her here. Okay. Um, so... Kazin versus Tyrin. Tyrin had three extra defense and one extra agility. Yeah, he would have been a better off. Okay, now let's take a look at promoted versions, which that is Chester 2, Blade 2, May 2, Eric 2. This is if everybody was promoted as a sniper. Uh, so... Once more, comparing everybody against Kazin, especially Kazin and Tyrin, since they technically have the same end stats. Uh, Tyrin would have had one fewer hit point. But since Tyrin would have had higher stats before promotion, it would have ended up being slightly better. Um, Elric would have had some defense issues, to put it mildly. And gobs of hit points. Interesting. I mean, Elric was in our party at the end of the game, right? Yeah. Elric didn't really have gobs of hit points for a sniper. So, why is that? Why are we seeing that? Hit points. Oh, late growth. That's why. Um, basically, late growth is the bane of our existence. It means that our stats are going to be garbage earlier on. And that sucks. Um, Chester had late growth on defense. That explains why Chester's defense was terrible. And it was still going to be terrible. Chester and Elric have practically identical defense. 
Uh, yeah, Chester basically has more attack, more agility. Elric has more hit points, and that's it. Um, Slade is interesting because Slade actually has lower attack, but yeah, Slade has lower attack than Chester. Slade has lower attack than all of them except for the bottom three. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious that I, if I would have gone with three archers, what I should have done is this. Let's double check their threes versus twos. Oh, wow. Eric actually gets two extra attack as a brass gunner compared to as a sniper. Interesting. That shouldn't have been the case. I wonder if that's a typo. I bet Eric was supposed to have 45 attack here as well. Although, maybe not. Anyway, um, if I would have chosen three archers knowing everybody's stats, it would have ended up being Chester, May, and Eric. And I think think I would have, let's see. The extra defense on May would have been really nice. Let's compare with the Brass Gunners. Um, yeah, I think if I would have known about the stats ahead of time, what I would have ended up doing was having Eric be my Brass Gunner. May being a sniper, Chester being the bow knight, and kept those three out of the lower ones. Um, let's see. Any of you? So, Kazin actually gets plus two attack. Oh, they all seem to, other than May. Maybe May is actually the typo, and May should have actually had 43 attack here and 45 attack there. Anyway, um, I'm comparing breast gunners for all of these. Yeah, so if I would have known about stats ahead of time, I would have absolutely promoted Rick as a Brass Gunner, kept May as a Sniper, Chester as a Bow Knight, and if I would have had to have taken the fourth, um, let's see, they would have been a Sniper. Probably Slade, because Slade actually has higher defense and didn't end up with crappy stat growth. Which, this isn't that far off of what I ended up with, just swapping Eric for Elric. They're similarly named anyway. So, interesting. Hmm. Anyway, we don't need to compare anywhere near this many characters anymore. Let's just go ahead and get back our spell lists. There we go. Next up, um, Jaha, mages. Let's see, we had Gerhalt was a mage. Oh, I didn't even compare the promoted archers. Derp. Ah, uh, one moment. Let's hide, 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 hide. Let's compare snips and... Oops, not that one. There we go. Uh, stats, 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 at least that many. I'm pretty sure there was more than that. Wasn't there like one more as well? Uh, let's see, wizard, breast gunner, that's one. Pegasus Knight, Master Monk, Robot, Red Baron, Gladiator, Pegasus Knight, Brass Gunner. That was the other one. All right. Um, Ulrich. You know what, let's make this easy and just compare Brass Gunners. So that way I don't have to think. Eric. 
go in goes in three I'm missing an archer. I have Kazin. Uh, who am I missing? I'll just look over to my spreadsheet that I have over to the right. Herp derp. Um, Taya, Lemon, Eric, Elric, Kazin, Tyran, May, Slade. Slade's the one I'm missing. Okay. Slate. Okay. Everybody's brass gunners. Let's compare to Kazin. Because Kazin's my touchstone. Um Lemon would have had gobs of hit points. Not as many as Elric, strangely enough. In fact, Lemon and Elric are uh, Lemon is strictly worse than Elric. Take a look at this. Lemon would have had four fewer hit points and seven less agility. No other difference. So Lemon would have been terrible. Um, and Lemon and Tay are identical. Other than their growth. So yeah, okay. It was... Yeah, Lemon and Tay were definitely terrible. It's a good thing I didn't bother bringing them. Sure, that they actually had halfway decent stats then, but they would not have grown much. Okay, now let's go with the mages. I just realized I needed those open. No, I don't, because I need to spell, show spell lists. Alright, so we have Jaha as our first mage. Now, I don't care about the mage stats as much, although I am going to compare them. But um, then we have Gerhalt. Um... Sorkin Wiz. Who else do we have for Sorkin Wiz? Um, Screeching Claude. Okay. Claude. And Screech. Okay. So, um, spell list wise, Jaha definitely had the best of the. Yeah, Jaha definitely had the best of the wizard spells. Because, sure, Blaze 4, not useful. You notice that I stopped using it pretty quickly. Um, I briefly used it for the two levels between Blaze 4 and Freeze 4, and then stopped using it entirely, because Blaze 4 is not good. Um, Bolt 4 at 57. Uh, obviously, Boost is very helpful. Screech also had Boost. Uh, so Screech had Katon 3, which is the equivalent of Blaze 4. Only Screech would have gotten it four levels later. Uh, Screech also had boost at 36 versus 38. So Screech would have gotten boost earlier. That would have been nice. Um, Dao 2 is the equivalent of blast. It's not great, but it's not bad. And then Neptune 2 at 47. That would not have been too bad. But instead I got freeze 4 at 43. And freeze 4 is probably better than Neptune 2. Um, Neptune, if I remember right, does more damage, but Freeze 4 has better range. Unless if Neptune 2 also has a range of 3. That's possible. Some of those actually have higher ranges. Let's see if, um, Moogie's Guide actually mentions the range on spells. Uh, Sorcerer Spells. Nope, I need spell details. Yes, it does have range. Okay. Um, so Neptune 2... Nope, same range. So, yeah, it would have done 61 damage, approximately. Uh, freeze, for reference, does 50 damage. So it would have been more damage at a lower range. Honestly, I think the range is probably worth the minus 11 damage. Also, Neptune 2 costs 7 more MP. Uh, for other characters, so Claude actually has Bolt 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, Bolt 1 at 27. It's a little late. It's later for Jaha. Bolt 2 at 32. So it looks like Claude actually has Bolt a little lower. Nope, I take that back. Bolt 3 at 46 and 58 for Bolt 4. That would have been really late. 
Apollo 1, Apollo 2. Apollo 2 is very similar to um, Blaze 4, only it's a larger area of effect, which you don't necessarily want for a summon spell. And it's more damage, but it's the same range. And I already don't use Blaze 4 because of the range. And even then, the same range. Apollo 2 does the same amount of damage as Freeze 4. Apollo 2 costs 17 MP. Freeze 4 costs 12. Freeze is almost strictly better than Apollo 2. And oh, I got it at a reasonable level, at least. Dispel and Muddle's garbage. I don't care about that. Uh, looking over at Gerhalt. So we have Blast and Blaze. Those are bad combinations of spells. There's a reason why I promoted Gerhalt to be a sorcerer, because, ugh. Blast is almost strictly worse than Blaze. It's just cheap. That's it. That's its sole advantage, is that it's cheap. Um, Egress is always nice, but it's a utilitarian spell that I don't get XP off of. And Dispel's useless. So let's take a look at the Sork spell lists for the top two. Let's see how much better uh, how much better this would have been. So, um, ooh. Ooh. Man, Jaha was set up to be awesome. <coughs> so, I'm just going to compare Jaha and Jaha. And Gerhalt and Gerhalt. I know it's supposed to be Gerald, by the way. I just like saying Gerald. Um. Ooh, so freeze four at twenty four. This is promote. Uh, this should again be an extra twenty levels on things. That was a glitch. Um. So forty four versus forty three. So it wouldn't have made that big of a difference on freeze. Thirty twenty eight. So Jaha would have actually gotten the other freeze spells earlier on, not counting the glitch in the game. Uh, glitch in the run where this should be 20 levels higher. Uh, so that's good to know. Dow 1 and Dow 2 instead of Blaze series. That would have been a net positive. Losing Bolt would have hurt. I I like Bolt. Bolt is probably my favorite of the elemental spells. That would have hurt. But... Gaining Aura, 39. That would have been 59, right? Because this is off by 20. I would have gotten Aura 1 at 33. I would have just been really confused as to... Oh, that would have been 49 for Attack 1? Jaha wasn't even level 49 at the end of the game. These are just way too high level. Yeah, um, I would have had Dao 1, Dao 2... Freeze 1, Freeze 2, Freeze 3, Freeze 4. Or a 1. And that's it. So I did make the right choice because I would have only had these spells. Minus Dao 2. No, I would have had Dao 2, yeah. So I would have only had these spells. Oh, that would have been painful. I mean, yes, having Aura is awesome. Having attack up would have been nice earlier on this game, especially since attack, it would have been a spell that I could have cast and not worried about, like, too much of Jaha killing everything in sight. Gerhalt. Um, Gerhalt definitely had a better option as Sork rather than Mage, but it still wasn't great. So he was down to only a single attack spell, which is Dao. Admittedly, Dao is still better than Blaze. He still had Egress. He, he would have gained boost... And slow. And he would have capped off at 53 for Dao 2. Okay, so if Gerhalt would have been Jaha's level, which is the absolute highest possible it could have been. Oh, no, that's right. Jaha's 57, not 37. Derp. So he would have been missing Aura 4. Okay, that's not as bad. Herp derp. Um... I would have barely gotten Dao 2 by the end of the game. I would have just gotten boost 2 by the hidden boss at the end. Yeah. 
And I would have gotten... E oh, no, that's right. I fixed these for Gerhalt. I remember now. So these actually are the correct levels. Never mind. So Gerhalt would have just maxed out really early on. Not worth it. Okay. I'm um, looking at stats. So the only stat I really care about for sorcerers is MP. Agility is the next best stat. Um... Let's switch this over to wizards. I don't think I take that back. They actually have different stat lines for sorcerer and wizard. I didn't realize that. Um, sorcerers do have extra agility compared to wizard. No, they don't. What the hell is going on? These stats are completely different. Like Jaha would have ended up with better stat, uh, ended up with better stats in every way except for MP by being a sorcerer. What? And Gerhalt would have had better stat, uh, would have had higher attack and defense as a wizard and lower agility. What the heck? I'm wondering if that's a glitch. Anyway, stat wise, the important part is the fact that neither one of my characters had lower than average MP. That's really the only stat I care about. Um, HP, sure, that's nice. Gerhalt had more HP. Um, Jaha had more attack. And agility in the case of wizard. Um, yeah, they're glitched. Anyway, we do have other characters, though. And we actually remember because our healers also get the option of doing these things. So we need to compare our healers as well. So that would be Kiwi. Get Kiwi 1. And Rick. So looking at their spells, let's compare with Wizard. And yeah, I'm mostly doing this for my own amusement, which is the reason why this is just linked to the last video rather than it being the last video. Um, oh, derp. level one tier, one tier. Okay. So yeah, um, I would have gotten Apollo 2 at 36. That's really early. I mean, to be fair, that's... Yeah, that's actually earlier than Jaha getting Blaze 4. Apollo might have actually seen some play if I had not power-leveled Rick. Um, bolts. When Rick would have gotten Bolt 4 at 56. Which is actually one level lower than Jaha, but... Rick wasn't as high of a level. Um, let me go back to my spreadsheet and include our Vickers and Master Monks. There we go. Okay, so yeah, Rick was only 31. Uh, or 51, I should say. So Rick was missing Bolt 4. He only recently got Bolt 3. He was only missing Bolt 4, in fact. Um, Rick was definitely built more as a mage. So you can tell you've got three different elements, just like over here. It's just instead of freeze element, I end up with blast element. Definitely freeze better. But healing. Healing is awesome. Healing versus boost. It's fair. Uh, Kiwi. Kiwi, this is very similar to an existing Shining Force 2 character. If you would have told me that I had a healer with these spells... I would have totally believed you for Shining Force 2. Uh, in fact, this might actually be what... It's very similar to what Sarah in Shining Force 2 actually has. Um, but nothing to write home about. Let's take a look at our other Vickers. So we've got Road, which we actually already know what spells he has. And Zinc. Oops, went too far. Road. Road. And Zinc. Zinc. So Zinc, for starting, didn't have all that much. But he had Apollo, Freeze, Boost, and Blast. So Boost is always awesome. Um, Blast 4. Mm. I mean, he got it later than Kiwi, even. Yeah. He got Blast 4 last. I Wait, two levels to get Freeze 4? Yeah, um, Freeze 3 is basically... The equivalent of Blast. And gotten much earlier. He had Apollo. So we have the same three element situation as Rick. Namely, he's got 
Blast, Apollo, and Rick has Bolt, Zinc has Freeze. I prefer Bolt, but Bolt's a higher level thing. It's a toss-up. It's understandable. Um, no healing on Zinc, though. That would have hurt. Uh, while Zinc, yes, Zinc is a Master Monk, his MP is terrible. Keep in mind, let's compare... Master Monks. So, um, both Rick and Kiwi have 5 extra MP compared to Zinc. Uh, both Rick and Kiwi have an extra hit point. Same attack. Uh, Rick has 7 extra defense, and they both have 7 extra agility. Zinc's stats are terrible. Um, comparing to Vickers... Uh, Road had less MP, which we saw. I mean, Road at the end of the game just started approaching 100 MP, whereas the rest of my casters in the group all had over 100. So we knew that Road was a low MP character. Uh, looks like Road is a... That's a glitch. That should have been 87, not 37. Well, I'm glad I didn't promote Vicar as a... Or, Kiwi is a vicar because uh, Kiwi would have gotten six hit points over 30 levels. Oh, that would have been horrible. Um, Kiwi definitely had agility on everybody. Uh, on, had agility on road. Uh, defense. Again, Rick is definitely defense focused. Road looks to be hit points focused. Yeah, road wasn't a great choice, but road was the only choice that I had with aura. Uh, none of the rest of my force even had aura. So I don't know why I would have gone with anybody else. In fact, looking at the last of our casters of the forest, we had Bowie and we had uh, Luke. 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 I'm going a little goofy here. So yeah. Um, Katana as a secondary spell for Bowie is interesting. I think that's actually a good choice, except his MP is so damn low it was useless. Uh, what, could you have even cast Katon 3 and anything else? Uh, Katon. Katon? Where for thou Katon? Hmm, it's not on the spell list. Neither is Rajin, so it's probably just the previous level. Anyway, um, yeah, nobody had Rajin. So, yeah, um... That would have been 10 MP. He couldn't cast that and also Egress. Or more than just one casting of that. Regular Bowie can totally cast his offensive spell plus Egress. So Bowie really got screwed over on MP on this. Uh, on the other hand, Luke did great on MP. Holy crap. 50 expected MP when Bolt 4 costs 40. Or cost 20. Perfect. He could have cast Bolt 4 twice, and that's exactly what I would want a ninja to do. Um, Bolt 4 instead of Rajin 3, they're equivalent spells, so that's not that big of a deal. Um, it would have been interesting to have a healing spell on a ninja. Because that's actually what's going to happen when we get to Vandal Hearts, eventually, maybe. Anyway, that's probably about it for spells. Let's switch back over to melee characters. Specifically, I want my Barons. So, who are my barons? Oh, we've got bird brain, baron. I'm ignoring the gladiator at the moment. Um, no, actually, I'll bring in gladiators as well. Anybody who's using a melee weapon, let's go with that. Um, I'm ignoring the knights at the moment. Ninja. We'll bring in master monk just because... Wolf Baron, Monster, what am I missing? Red Baron, Robot, there. All right, we've got a bunch of these. So let's go ahead and start hiding the spell list and squeezing everybody in again. Oops. Uh, we're not caring about Road, we're caring about Sarah. Sarah 2. 
Bowie 2, Luke 2, Zinc 1. Um, Randolph. Get there. Uh, Janet, three. Then we also have Karna. Just gonna do some of the melee fighters first. Um, I'm gonna have to rotate through them because there's so many of them. Um, Karna, Jaro, I guess. No, we'll go with Guyan. Oops, depart. There we go. All right, let's compare these first. Uh, so, Janet versus Kyan. Uh, Janet has seven extra defense and seven extra agility. Why? <laughs> They're identical. Oh, why? So, Kyan is strictly worse than Janet. Um, what about Janet 2? So, as a gladiator. Three fewer attack, five more defense, two fewer agility. Yeah, I think Guyan might have been balanced against gladiators instead of barons. Barons are generally better. Yeah, Guyan's just terrible. Um, comparing with others in the melee spectrum, yeah, Randolph's going to have ludicrous attack. That's fine. Um, so, Randolph, I'm going to temporarily adjust just for these purposes randolph had seven more attack than janet so i'm going to say that randolph for comparison purposes has 62 attack so um that would still make randolph the best attack member of any of the melee characters uh same attack here bowie has two fewer hit points 30 six lower defense i think i'm seeing the problem here you know let's compare to the other bird brain bowie has 17 or 15 lower defense i think this is a typo that would explain oh so much because look at this going in so the base level for bowie is expected has only three fewer defense than sarah uh, fewer defense than randolph but again randolph's a tank but comparable defense to Luke. And on the other hand, Bowie would have had 30 lower defense than Luke. I think this might have actually been our problem. This probably should have been 71, would be my guess. At 71, uh, would have been better than Karna, which given that Bowie coming in was better than Karna, that would make sense. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be 71 and not 51. So yeah, um, I'm going to have to adjust algorithms for my randomizer when I do this. That's not too surprising. Um, attack is pretty high. Attack's the same as Sarah and Luke. That would make sense. Although both of them would actually end up having one fewer attack, I think. I don't know. Um, Luke was definitely hit points based. Holy crap. That explains why Luke had 105 hit points in my game. In fact, we actually rolled high on hit points as a result, unless if I fed him cheerful bread. I don't think I did. Um, 54 defense versus the 51 he was expected to have. Yeah, we rolled high on, def oh no, because I fed him protect milk. Yeah, that's right. Um... Randolph ended up with low, significantly lower defense than... Exp oh, he was four levels low. And linear? Yeah, he was getting two defense a level. Okay, yeah, that's probably actually about right. Um, So did I pick the right characters? So... I had Janet, Randolph, Bowie, and Luke. 
let's actually switch out uh, Zinc for Kiwi, because I had Kiwi involved as well. Even Kiwi has better defense. Yeah, this has got to be a glitch here. That was that should not have happened. That's more like Archer defense. Um, I mean, Kiwi has her own situation because she can power level herself without effort. So Kiwi is always going to be much better stats than everybody else. Um, actually, let's go ahead and throw in Sheila. Yeah, let's compare these first. So, um, if I wanted attack, Sheila had gobs of attack. But again, we are comparing the wrong stats. Um, yeah, so this was like 103 or something like that. I, mean, I think it might have actually been 106. No, probably 101 because Sheila has more attack than Randolph. And yes, they actually share the same stats of stats for my randomizer uh, the main difference is robots have crappy movement range wolf barons have awesome movement range um sheila would not have been a bad choice that 83 defense is significantly better than say luke's but she wouldn't have been counted as a tank even sarah had better defense so like if i had a choice between sarah and sheila um let's see so Luke's final attack was 101 for reference. So Sheila would have had five extra attack. Way lower agility, lower defense, lower hit points. Yep. Yeah. Sheila would not have been a good choice for our group. Uh, one moment. Sorry, partner's asking me questions and I'm going to pause recording this for that. Um, so yeah, Sheila would have been a bad choice pre-promoted character and also not a very good class fine didn't actually mean to close that i meant to switch over to jaro uh stats hide spell list jaro jaro so throwing in jaro uh heck we'll compare janet 2 and jaro 1 because they're both gladiators um janet had better defense Just Janet has better defense. They're identical in every other way. And comparing to Baron, um, this isn't even close. Uh, Janet had better attack defense and agility. Jaro definitely would not have been a good choice. However, Jaro compared to Randolph would have been interesting. So assume that Jaro's attack would have probably been like 94, 95. Uh, no, actually it wouldn't have been interesting. Jaro would have had two extra hit points and Randolph would have had everything else. Never mind. Jaro, not a good choice. Um, if I had the ability to choose between Bowie and Karna, like if, if I was actually allowed to move Bowie out of my party, Karna would have been way better, not just from the glitch in defense. I mean, yeah. Ah, uh, Karna's attack is pretty terrible, especially since that's a late attack bonus. But Karna would have had defense. Karna would have had hit points. Karna would have, and way better agility. Karna would have just been a better character. Uh, one moment once more. Okay. So, um, yeah, Karna would have been a much better choice than Bowie. Fine. What about comparing Karna with the ninjas? The ninjas all have much better defense, and we were having so many problems with glass cannons in this. Um, also, significantly lower attack. Wow, her attack's terrible. Why is it so low? Again, gonna have to change algorithms, I think. Um, I need to redo the algorithms anyway when I do the randomizer. I don't even know where I have my spreadsheet with this anymore. Um... Yeah, no. If I would have had a choice between Karna and Sarah, I would have brought in Sarah. Sarah, sure, she has five fewer HP, but she has way better defense, especially since ground effect would have happened, and also significantly better attack. It wouldn't have been much of a decision. And ninjas are still pretty good at movement, so I'm not too concerned about that. So yeah, Karna would not have been chosen at Creed's. 
Fine. Um, Guyanne, we already figured out, is a terrible character. Strictly worse than Janet. Um, compare Randolph with uh, Sheila really fast. So Randolph had... Oh, we already did this, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, so... Should I have kept Sarah versus Janet, I think is what this boils down to. I needed a tank, and Sarah is the tankier of the ninja, but barons are better in every way. Um, extra hit points, extra defense, I needed the tank. I think I actually chose the correct characters for melee characters. Um, if I would have chosen four, which is what I did... The four that I chose are the ones that I have, other than Bowie. I couldn't choose Bowie one way or the other. I would have far preferred Sarah over Bowie. I would have preferred Karna over over Bowie. So, yeah, Bowie's a glitch. I need to figure out what's going on with that for the randomizer. Uh, what else do I have for characters that I haven't shown yet? Uh, let me take a look at everything. Oh, um, the knights. We don't have too many of those. We just have... Um, that is... Paladin Pegasus Knight. There we go. We only have those three. So I am going to keep Bowie. I'm going to bring back Karna, because I'm going to compare flyers. Karna 2. And instead of Randolph, we are going to go with Higgins, who's a terrible character anyway. Um, Freya. And Chaz. Chaz. There we go. Okay. So, for the Flyers, um, Bowie has lowest defense by far. Cool. Um... If I would have chosen one of these two Pegasus Knights for anything... Wow, they're practically identical to each other, aren't they? Chaz is just Freya with more hit points. Agility being late would have sucked, but the rest of the stats would have been fine. Yeah, I would have just chosen Chaz. Chaz is almost strictly better than Freya. Is strictly better. Yeah. During lower levels, Chaz would have had fewer hit points, but I gained Chaz in middle levels, so that's irrelevant. Um, so yeah, Frey is garbage. Uh, compared to Higgins, Higgins has lower defense. What the heck? That's not supposed to happen. Uh, that's probably another typo, because starting defense is higher. Ending defense should have been higher also. Um, Higgins appears to be Higgins. He's terrible. Um, not much to say. His stats don't look right to me. Um, let me com Actually, this is the only time I can actually do this. Let's compare Higgins to Higgins. Specifically, this is Higgins in Shining Force 2. Higgins... Uh, it's very similar, actually. Uh, Higgins has an agility bonus. And has slightly better attack and defense. And hit points. Ha. Huh. Or, uh, slightly worse of those. That's weird. Huh. But, yeah, yeah. Higgins is actually one of the few characters that stayed the same class. It was Higgins and, um, Higgins? <laughs> I think that might have actually been it. Just looking over the list to see what other ones would have been there. Uh, Elric. Elric's the other one that I could actually compare directly. Elric 1 versus Elric 1. What? Oh. Uh, hold on a moment. I 
got to... You're really not supposed to be able to do this. There we go. Elric 1 versus Elric 1. Uh, Shining Force 2, Elric's better. Elric 2 versus Elric 2. Oh, I glitched again. Darn it. Let's just set up Elric 1, 2, and 3. Or Elric 2 and 3. Then reopen the ROM. Modded 1. Uh, no, unmodded 1. Sorry. Base Shining Force 2. Elric 2 versus Elric 2. Um, yep. Yeah, what in the world happened to my randomizer? The Shining Force 2 version of Elric is almost strictly better in every way other than hit points. Huh. But you can see that, like, the attack bonus difference didn't really do anything. I mean, two extra attack over the course of 30 levels? Eh? Let's go... Back. Okay. So yeah, flyers suck. Our one paladin sucked. I think we basically chose the best force that we could, given that I couldn't change Bowie. Um, oh, one last thing I want to do. So we've got Sheila. Versus Peter. Two. Versus Randolph. How bad of a difference was this anyway? So these are all of our monster classes. The ones that cannot use melee weapons. So they are all comparable with each other. Oh dear. I mean, yes. Peter was going to start gaining massive amounts of HP. Um, uh, but he still would have ended up 34 hit points, or 24 hit points below Sheila, and 34 hit points before Randolph. Defense-wise, he would have had 10 more defense. Lower attack. Marginal difference on agility. Yeah, dropping Peter when I did made the most sense. Uh, you'll notice that Peter doesn't list any spells. It's because it's inherent in the class instead of the spells like it was supposed to be. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover for the editor. Uh, the only other thing that got edited was the Dark Sword. Which, yep, Neptune won. The randomizer that I'm building is going to replace... I'm going to make sure I don't use any of the summon spells for the spell effect, because they obviously don't work. Um, and I'm not going to use any spell effect that's beneficial, because the AI won't use it. The whole point of me randomizing Dark Sword is to get rid of instant death, because instant death is dumb, and then replace it with something that's still threatening. So it's probably going to be like Freeze 3... Hell, I might even pull a Freeze 4, just because... But it's probably going to be Freeze 3, Bolt 3, Blaze 4, Blast 4, Sleep maybe? Don't know. Still thinking about that. Anyway, uh, yeah, this was just a quick thing that lasted an hour. Bye!